Welcome back. You're watching NTV tonight. Now, Western District Governor Jonathan Bay has now spoken on the ongoing Finland saga in his county in which a section of parents and guardians have been accusing the county government of engaging them in a scandalous education scholarship to Finland. Now, Governor Jonathan B says Wasin Gishu Senator is to blame for the program. Granted, he initiated it during his tenure in office while serving in his second term as governor. But as Lois Ongo in our reports, Senator Jackson Madago has hit back at Governor B, accusing him of lacking commitment to the program, saying it did not crumble during the previous regime. <laughs> The Finland education saga is one that has seen parents and guardians come out in their numbers, accusing the county government of Wasin Gishu of courtmanship with a promise to sponsor their children's education abroad only for the learners to get to Finland and get fresh demands for school fees. <laughs> Such pains saw a section of parents almost lynch the county's deputy governor Monday, prompting his boss to speak, and he now blames Austin Gishu Senator Jackson Mandago for the bungled students airlift program. previous administration. Governor Mandago, now our senator. Now, the county government of Wasingishu wants those affected parents and students to direct their grievances to Senator Jackson Mandago. Further, Governor Jonathan B. says investigations have confirmed that there were zero funds allocated to the Finland schools, hence zero scholarships. To Kwamba akuku kwa na scholarship yeyote kutoka kwa county government kulipa pakaro kwa wanafunzi wanapoenda kusoma Canada ama Finland. On his part, Washington Gishu Senator Jackson Mandagum has accused the current governor of mishandling the program. In his statement to NTV on phone, he says, and I quote, Governor Jonathan B. should convene an urgent meeting with parents, guardians affected in the matter, officers who are running the program and who have since been suspended, officers who are currently running the program, members of the task force investigating the matter and myself so that we set the record straight on this matter and of course. The Finland Affairs Hall happened three ways. There are those who were promised a scholarship only to be built afresh in Finland. Others paid school fees to Finland universities only to be told their studies would be online, while others are paid to study in Finland but are still stuck in Wasin Gishon. <laughs> Luis Wangoi, NTV, in the county of Wasingishu.